Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our City Council meeting of August 3rd, 2016. And Chief, would you please lead us in the flag salute? Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd like to call the August 3rd meeting 2016 to order. And uh, Director Malney, could you please uh, uh, go ahead with roll call? Faria? Here. Lewis? Here. Silvera? Present. Stonegrove? Volalta? Here. We do have a quorum. Consideration of approval of agenda. Do I have a motion? Ms. Silvera? Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve the agenda as submitted. Ms. Stonegrove? Second. Motion by Silvera, second by Strong Grove to approve the agenda as stated. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? None. Terry. Presentations. Proclamation recognizing Gary Breezy as interim city manager from January 15th to June 30th, 2016. He didn't show up for the last meeting, so we're going to give it to him this, this meeting. <laughs> Actually, he was on a well-deserved vacation with his family. It had been planned for a long time. Just before the meeting, some of the council members were saying, you know, I remember Gary Breezy at, uh, was it Save Mart, you said? Or, 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 or where? Save Mart Bag Boy. Save Mart Bag Boy. And I remember him in sixth grade. He was in the other class. And, uh, and when I was a sixth grade teacher at Henry Miller. So we kind of go way back with Gary, long, long history. And I'm, I'm glad that uh, like many of the, uh, the, the citizens in town after school uh, decided to come back and make Los Banos their home. So with that, I would like to read this proclamation recognizing Gary Breezy as the interim city manager from January 15th, 2016 to June 30th, 2016. Gary Breezy served the city in the role of interim city manager for the second time from January 15th to June 30th, 2016. His broad knowledge of the city is both invaluable and impressive and worked in sequence with his outstanding communication skills and logical manner. He carried with him a positive attitude and listening patiently to new ideas while giving consideration to every viewpoint expressed to him. Gary believes deeply in honesty and frankness and treats everybody with sincere respect. While serving as the interim city manager, Gary achieved many accomplishments, including reaching an agreement with the, the County of Merced for property tax sharing, forming the city's budget for the current fiscal year which included employee givebacks and of unrep for unrepresented miscellaneous employees and reaching a multi-year agreement with the Los Banos Police Dispatchers Community Services Officers Association. And whereas Gary genuinely cares about the citizens of Los Banos and fellow employees of the city and was very eager and willing to take the challenging tasks that he faced to keep the city operating efficiently during the transitional phase between the former and newly appointed city managers. Now therefore be it proclaimed that the mayor and the city council members of the city of Los Banos wish to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation to Gary Breezy for his outstanding service he provides to the city of Los Banos. And Gary, it is with much gratitude that I present you with this proclamation. And I have to tell you that Gary had a wonderful staff to work with. And again, I've said, I've said this in the past, and I'll keep saying it, and I'll say it again tonight. Without cooperation from everyone, the city could have been in turmoil. But that didn't happen. One person, it was recognized that one person was the interim city manager, and everyone worked to make sure that Gary Breezy was successful. So with that, that's just another way of saying, staff, thank you for all that you have done to make this man successful, and thank you for orchestrating it. So with that, I would first like to give you a, a great bird.
lift your hand, and I'd like you to say a few words. I'll keep them to a few words for tonight. I want to thank the council for the opportunity. It was a good six months, and the team that I worked with, I work with every day. Thank you all. If it wasn't for each and every one of you, I wouldn't have found the success that I had. So thank you guys all very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. And we should it was just well orchestrated. And staff, thank you for all your accomplishments and what you did in order to make everything successful. Thank you. All right. Let's go on to public forum. Members of the public may address the City Council on any item of public interest that is within the jurisdiction of the City Council, which includes agenda and non-agenda items. No action will be taken on non-agenda items and speakers are limited to a five-minute presentation. Detailed guidelines are posted on the Council Chamber informational table. When you approach the podium, uh, please state your name and the city of residence. And if you have a cell phone, please turn them off or place them on vibrate. So with that, I will now open the public forum. Is there anyone who wishes to speak? Good evening, Bertha Faria, Los Spanos Chamber of Commerce. Welcome to August in Los Spanos. Don't forget you have a chance to leave the cooking to the Los Spanos VFW by visiting Carl's Jr. tomorrow or tonight for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and a portion of your sales will benefit the Veterans Group for their third annual Veterans Day Parade on November 5th. Also, the Chamber has flags available for sale for $1 each again this year. These 12 by 18 flags can be placed in your yard or used to wave at the upcoming Veterans events. They can be purchased at our office. We are happy to welcome Susie's Dance Studio to membership with the Chamber, locally owned and operated. Susie's is located in downtown at 509 I Street and offers morning and afternoon classes in Zumba and fitness. Susie's phone number is 408-427-5302. Our board of directors received an invitation to tour the new Aqua Entertainment Center last week. Mr. Ye and Mr. Liu and their staff provided a great tour and an opportunity for us to enjoy some arcade games, laser tag, and bowling along with delicious refreshments. They have spent this week in a soft opening preparing to welcome our city. We look forward to celebrating a grand opening with them and are so happy and excited to have this new gift of family entertainment for our community. On Friday, we will be honored to welcome Los Banos' new school. We will be cutting the ribbon, celebrating the opening of Creekside Junior High at 9 a.m. Please join the principal, Carolina Moreno, and Vice Principal, Lisa Marquise, at the and Los Banos Unified School District at this new addition, and as they welcome the 2016-17 school year. On Friday evening from 6 to 9 p.m., downtown merchants will welcome strollers to their annual grapes, hops, and shops. Don't miss the opportunity to enjoy a variety of beer, wine, and appetizers as local businesses open their doors for this fun-filled evening. Also on Friday, two of our chamber members will be teaming up to provide a night of entertainment for kids. Ismael of Rent Party Stuff and Elvira of the Academy of Performing Arts and Fitness have put together a summer kid day from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Academy Santa Rita location. Bring the kids out for movies, laser tag, and video games. Uh, let's see. We will I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, we will also be celebrating a ribbon cutting for Golden Valley Health Center on Friday, August the 12th at noon. Uh, they will be welcome to the chamber as well as recognizing Alicia DeCashea, a retiring board member with 45 years of service. Tickets are on sale for the Elks Lodge Calamari Dinner being held on Monday, August 22nd. For drive through or dine-in, $15. drive through dinners will be available from 4.30 to 6.30. Dine-in will begin at 7. Our August Mixer will be hosted by Sutter Memorial Hospital on Thursday, August 25th. Hospital philanthropist Michelle Marquise hopes to spotlight their new rural health clinic on I Street as the location for the mixer if construction completion allows. And last 
but certainly not least, we look into September and we are busy planning and accepting vendors for our fall street fair. This year's fair will be held on September 10th from 8.30 to 3 p.m. If you are interested in participating, check our website or visit our office for applications. We are looking forward to the sixth annual Tomato Festival on October 1st, and we are also accepting vendors for this event. This free admission fun day offers food, vendors, entertainment, and amusement rides for the kids. And I'd like to thank Jerry and Merced County for their silver sponsorship I just received tonight. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, my assistant and partner in crime, Michelle Sandoval, has begun the plans for our chamber first. Along with the DES, the Chamber will host our first annual Halloween party Saturday, October 29th from 6.30 to 11. Please check our website for updates on this and it'll be an adult opportunity for dancing, drinks, appetizers, and a fun evening. Have a great school year. Thank you. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak at the public forum? Eric Lamone, resident of Los Banos, employee of Republic Services. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's your famous sanitation engineer, and you know I'm always talking trash. It's Mike Valalta's favorite line, by the way. Um, I want to let our residents know that the City of Los Banos and Republic Services will be sponsoring the annual fall cleanup event September 24th between the hours of 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. in the Los Banos Spring Fair parking lot on the corner of 4th and F Streets. Uh, bring all your unwanted items you can't place into your garbage or green waste containers for free disposal. Please note, green waste must be separate from other materials. Car tires will be accepted, nine tires maximum. Batteries will be accepted, car and truck only. Electronic waste will also be accepted, such as TVs, computers, computer parts, DVD, VCR players, and cell phones. I am glad to mention that household hazardous waste will be accepted this year. We've been pushing for this for a very long time. And uh, we finally have the opportunity to give our residents a, a place to, uh, to, to, to get disposed of these, these materials. Um, and this event's, event will be sponsored by MCAG. Um, uh, this event will be at the same location, so, we, so the so customers don't have to go to another location to do this. Uh, if you have any questions about the, the Household Hazardous Waste event, please contact Jennifer Halpin with MCAG uh, at 209-723-4481. Uh, Habitat for Humanity will be on hand collecting uh, gently used clothing and other donated materials. That's another uh, way to divert materials. That's the whole purpose of this event. Uh, another note um, off topic. I wanted to recognize Panda Express as our Commercial Recycling Award recipient. Uh, Manager Galen and his crew have done a tremendous job uh, putting the proper materials into the recycling dumpsters and maintaining a clean enclosure. That's something we're going to try to emphasize a little bit more this year. Um, that's, that's my pet peeve. I want every, every enclosure to be clean. Uh, for, for their superior effort, a check in the amount of $500 will be donated to the Los Banos Unified School District uh, towards this uh, student scholarship program. Unfortunately, Galen cannot be here tonight due to a recent uh, car accident, so I'm, I'm wishing him the best of luck. Hopefully he recovers and, and he's able, but um, I will be giving Panda Express a certificate of appreciation uh, tomorrow. So thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Eric, yes, uh, go ahead, Tom. Could you explain what the hazardous wastes, what the hazardous wastes are that you'll be taking? Absolutely. So it's, it's household chemicals such as Raid, um, um, weed killer, uh, obviously oil, stuff stuff of that nature, um, paint thinner. Um, antifreeze? Antifreeze as well. So anything that's that's categorized as hazardous waste, um, is we will be accepting it. So that's a big thing because uh, so often we're seeing these items in, in the landfill in, uh, in, in recycling containers. So that's something that we're really trying to push this year um, try to try to d divert that. So Thank appreciate you. that. Antifreeze is very, very dangerous for animals. Yeah. Very, yeah. very dangerous for animals. Well, they drink antifreeze, well. the neural system shuts down. So we're glad you're able to take that. People uh, have a place to absolutely. go. Absolutely. They don't so. dump it. Before I forget, I want to reach out to Mason and the chief for thanking them for allowing this inside the city limits. Uh, because last year, uh, I asked for this event last year, and they told me it had to go out to the, um, the landfill in order to have it. And this year they brought it in town so you don't have to go, you don't have to drive seven miles out to Billy Wright. So thank you for doing that because it's going to make it a lot easier and more people will be bringing in uh, the hazardous waste, I think, because they don't have to drive out there. So thank you. And please tell Tim thank you also. Okay. Uh, would anyone else like to speak to the public forum?
Hello, my name is Alexis Gonzalez and I'm a sophomore at Pacheco High School. I come today to promote a community event organized by Los Banos Rotary and the high school's Interact Club. This event is called the Shredder Event. It's a, sh a shredding company comes to town and shreds your documents. The cost is $5 per copy paper size box. The event will be taking place on Saturday, September 24th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. at Pacheco High School. There is no need to buy tickets and you can pay at the same day. All proceeds will go to community project Los Banos Backpack Drive. Thank you very much and hope to see you guys there. You want to tell them a little bit about the backpacks? Um, or do you want to bring your sister up here? No. Okay. <laughs> Everybody needs to hear this. Oh, what was the date? 24th. September 24th? Thank you. Hi, my name is Nayeli Gonzalez. I just graduated from Pacheco High School. Um, the Backpack Drive, uh, I started this last year and I talked to Rotary to try to get um, them to collect as many backpacks as we can for um, Los Banos' foster children. And the Backpack Drive, it's not, um, it's not for backpacks for school, but yet um, for them to keep their luggage or any um, collectible items that they find special because we um, our father our, um, is a social worker and so we have heard that stories that they have to pick up from one student and just drop him off and they don't have anything so um, we started this and we kind of want to collect as many backpacks and buy new ones and we accept old uh, used ones too yeah thank you so much for coming up and no telling problem. us about that <laughs> thank okay. you All right. Is there anyone else who would like to speak at the public forum? Uh, Palmer McCoy of Los Banos. So first I want to say the park night out last night was great. You can use that were there. Chief, look good, getting wet. Um, just in the spirit of transparency, we put out a 2015 drinking water consumer confidence report. And you put it out in English and Spanish, which was great. One thing we didn't do is put it on the front page of our website when we talk about all the stuff that's been going on. Everybody's up in arms about it. You guys sent stuff out in the water bill. That's how I found out about it. And it wasn't as easy to find as what's on the page of, the water, of that paper that went out in the water report. So if we put it on the home page of the Los Banos website or whatever it's called, they could have a link and they can click on it and read it. They had a lot of great information, a lot of stuff that I found interesting, but... I like that stuff. So. Yeah. But just in transparency, I thought it should be on the front with a lot of. Well, you can never you there. can never put it on enough places. But but uh, Alex, can we take care of that? Thanks. Then, yeah, it'll be done. Okay. Is there anyone else who'd like to speak at the public forum? Not seeing or hearing anyone, I will now close the public forum, bring it back to council level, and we will go on to item seven. Consideration of approval of consent agenda. Items on the consent agenda are considered to be routine and will be voted on in one motion unless removed from the consent agenda by a city council member. Tonight we have Director Malney. Items on the consent agenda are as follows. Warrant numbers 160418 through 200114 in the amount of $841,215.02. Minutes for the June 15, 2016 City Council meeting. Minutes for the July 6, 2016 City Council meeting. Minutes for the July 20, 2016 City Council meeting. Minutes for the July 25, 2016 Adjourned City Council meeting. City Council Resolution Number 5776, authorizing award of construction contract to Rolf Construction Company in the amount of $310,672 with a 20% contingency in the amount of $62,000 for the West I Street Waterline Project. And the items are to be approved as submitted. Okay, is there anyone who wants to remove an item for discussion? I'd like to just remove item F for discussion just to, so Mark can explain what's going on as a continuation. So, uh, can I have a motion? Mr. Mrs. Lewis. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to uh, make a motion to approve the consent agenda with the removal of item F for a vote at um, a separate time. Mr. Freer. Second. 
Motion by Lewis, second by Freya to approve item A through E minus item F for discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? None. Carry. Mark? Thank you. I know I shouldn't have forgotten my glasses. Oh, I'm sorry. We can do it next time. I am perfectly okay. I have this pretty much memorized. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm clicking all these buttons. There we go. Oh, I'm on. All right. Um, like a Christmas uh, tree. Mayor and Council members, this is a item from our uh, master plan list of projects we have to do on the water master plan. And it's about 2,100 lineal feet of 10-inch line on the I Street from Pacheco to J Street. Uh, it's to replace an old line, uh, and it will. it's mainly to increase the fire flow in that area. And we had three bids. Uh, they were all good bids, um, and they were all, and, but one definitely was a low bid, and uh, so we're just asking to go forward with it. We are asking for a 20% contingency because it's an existing street. This one, I think there's no way we're going to get near even 10% contingency on it, but you never know what you hit sometimes underground. So we, we asked for it, but we nowhere near try to get there, obviously. So even on the one that we asked earlier for the big one that we had to come in for in addition to you, it ended up only being like 12%. So we asked for it just in case. Thank you for keeping up with the master plan. Oh, yes. yeah, no problem. We, are, we actually have caught up. Uh, from starting late on it, yes. Fantastic, thank you. Okay, do I have a motion on item F? Mr. Freya. Moved. I'll move to approve item 7F, uh, resolution 5776, as read. Mr. Lewis. Is it six? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> motion by Freya, <laughs> second by Lewis, to approve city council resolution number 5776. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposition? None carried. Okay, let's go on to public hearing. If you challenge a proposed action described herein in court, you may be raising only those issues you or someone else raised at the public hearing described herein or in written correspondence, written correspondence delivered to the city at or prior to uh, the public hearing. Item 8A, public hearing. To receive public comment and consideration of levying properties for weed abatement services performed during the fiscal year 2015-2016 or prior for areas of land located in the city of Los Banos. Merced County as follows. Assessor's parcel numbers 025 025-101-006, 025-103-001, 026-082-022, 027-086-009, 027 152 001 003 0-063-082-770-001 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082-770-004 0-063-082
this payment was received after these packets were printed, and so we want to make sure that doesn't get included on the tax roll. And I'm happy to answer any questions that anybody may have. Good. 027-086-009? Yes, that's All right. correct. And we're going to exclude that one? Yes, please. All right. Okay. Are there any questions of, uh, of Director Williams uh, before I open the public hearing? Okay. I will now open the public hearing and receive comment on City Council Resolution number 5777. Is there anyone who wishes to speak? Not seeing or hearing anyone, I will now close the public hearing and bring it back to Council level. Mr. Silvera. Yes, Mr. Silvera. Or Mr. Silvera. It's been one of those days. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would like to make a motion to approve City Council Resolution number 5777 minus Parcel number 027-086-009, authorizing the levy and collection of assessments for weed abatement within the city of Los Banos. Mr. Faria. I'll second that motion. Motion by Silvera, second by Faria, with the exclusion of 027-0860, parcel number 009, uh, to approve City Council Resolution number 5777. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? None carry. Item number nine, cancellation of regular city council meetings scheduled for Wednesday, August 17th, 2016, due to the summer break. Oh, Alex, you're going to tell us about this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure, we're, we're just requesting and recommending to the council that we cancel that meeting sure. uh, to take a break off for the summer. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Uh, so, uh, any discussion by council? Mr. Freya? Uh, if, if there's no discussion, if you need a motion, I will move to cancel the regular city council meeting of August 17th due to summer break. Okay. Mrs. Lewis? Second. Motion by Faria, second by Lewis, uh, to approve the cancellation of the August 17th, 2016 meeting, council meeting. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposition? None carried. Okay. Let's go on to item 10, advisement of public notices, one report. Yes, thank you, Mr. Mayor and City Council. Uh, so Fabian's Auto Body will be discussed. Uh, they're proposing a spray booth for automotive repair and restoration at Fabian's Auto Body, located at 1434 Ward Road. And this uh, public hearing will be held at the Planning Commission on Wednesday, August 10th, uh, here in the Council Chambers at 7 p.m. Also that night will be a couple of design reviews um, that the Planning Commission will be discussing and analyzing. That's it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any comments? Okay. Let's go on to city manager report. Mr. Terrazas. Let me try. Let's try again. How's that? I think okay. I'm on now. Thank all right. You. All right. Uh, just uh, last night was National Night Out. I want to thank uh, everyone from the community that attended. Um, uh, I want to acknowledge that uh, Assistant Chief Hurley uh, and Chief Breezy also, also spent uh, their share of time in the dunk tank. Um, it looks like they both recovered from that, and thanks for that participation. Um, I think the mayor as well may have spent some time in the dunk tank, but I'll let, let him uh, talk about that. Again, a great event. Thanks to everyone for turning out. Uh, I want to thank uh, Brenda and Patricia uh, in the police department for their hard work putting that event together. Uh, couldn't have done it without them, and thanks to them for, for doing that. So that's all I got. Thank you. All right, let's go on to City Council member reports. Tonight we'll start with Mrs. Lewis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, we've had a, a myriad of announcements tonight. I just want to remind everyone to be mindful of all the events that we have going on. Um, our bowling alley opening sometime in the real near future uh, will be awesome entertainment, not only for our youth, but for our adult uh, residents of Los Banos. It's been a long time coming, and I'm sure that everyone's really excited about that. And uh, finally, I just want to, again, thank uh, Chief Breezy for stepping in and acting as our uh, city manager during the interim time that we were without one. Um, he's an awesome person with uh, a myriad of multi-talented phases of his life that he's able to contribute to our city in the way that he does. 
so thank you, Chief, for what you did, and uh, it was a pleasure working with you. And that's it tonight, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Let's go on to Mr. Silvera. Yeah, Mr. Mayor, uh, just really one thing that I kind of wanted to just mention everybody is, is be mindful before we have our next meeting. School has started, um, especially if you live in those residential areas that are around schools, be cautious. You have kids going to school for the first time, youngsters out there that, you know, they're so excited about going to school. Sometimes they don't look both ways before they cross the road. Um, so just be mindful of that and keep an eye out and watch out for the little ones. And I wish everybody a fantastic school year. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go on to Mrs. Stonegrove. Oops, Mr. Palmer, there we go. Thank you. I don't have any announcements for this evening, but wanted to thank Chief Breezy again for serving as our interim city manager and doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Faria. Thank you. Once again, thanks, Chief Breezy. Outstanding work, you and all our staff. Um, I'm very excited. All this cool stuff going on. Lots of events. The Chamber page community, has a community calendar where you can check dates. If you're going to run events, go ahead and check that calendar. Also check with City Hall. Uh, check with as many people as you can so you avoid conflicts. There are a lot of people that want to do a lot of things in the community. And if, if there are no date conflicts, then everybody can go to everything and everything is much more successful. Uh, this time of year, fundraisers are very busy because clubs and organizations like to front load their years. Uh, September and October are usually very, very busy for fundraisers because that's when people like to get rolling to raise money for their year's functions. So we're very excited to see all of that. We thank everyone in the community for putting on those events because it's volunteers that make that happen. Um, we thank uh, the family opening Aqua, Mr. Ye, uh, opening Aqua Entertainment. They are a soft opening now. They are open for business now. There is a bowling alley there. Uh, there is a laser tag there. There are arcade games, including skee ball, um, and there is a food, a little food counter, and he also has a party room that he's going to be renting too. And so this is something that this man, this family has done, uh, has invested in this for Los Manos, uh, and it's uh, it's been an expensive investment, and we're very pleased that he's done this. Uh, school's starting soon. We're all very excited about that. School years are always exciting to start. Keep an eye out for the children. This is one of the, this town has a lot of children, very high percentage of children in this town. So uh, keep your eyes out. Everyone have a wonderful school year. And uh, thanks again last night for the night out. It was a beautiful event, successful event, and it was nice to see everybody who come out. And thanks for all the staff who worked so hard to make it happen. Thank you. Chief, thank you for your, your service to the city as well as all the staff and making everything work for the last six months. Thank you. Um, the National Night Out, I was fully dressed last night, and the chief came up to me, Chief Breezy, and he says, I have $100 if you'll go in a dunk tank. And I had my vital uniform on. So I said, eh, it was brand new, so let's do it. So uh, I said, I'm not going to do it until you show me the 100 bucks. So he went over there and... Show me the money. Yeah, so he showed me the $100, and, uh, and, uh, and I got dunked. So it was well worth it because it was it was a kind of a hot night and it was really cool to walk around all these squishy pants. So it uh, it was good. Thank you, Chief, and I'm glad we earned 100 bucks or, or a lot more than that. I think it was 400, wasn't it? 300. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Carl's Jr. Tonight and tomorrow night for the uh, for the veterans to support the parade. Uh, please go out. The um, Aqua Entertainment I can't say enough. Please go over there and see it. Please, you'll, you'll really love the facility. They put a lot of time, effort, and money into that facility. Uh, Creekside on Friday. Uh, uh, don't forget uh, the grand opening for the new junior high school. Uh, Grape Tops and Shops uh, also on Friday the 5th. It's going to be a nice event. Um, and um, let's have one more thing. Oh, I remember. The... All of us receive a lot of calls and for the council and uh, and so a uh, council what I'm asking is is when when we receive calls for uh, uh, from citizens I'm asking the citizens that if you're not sure of your representative because things are up in the stair up in the air with districting call all five of us 
So uh, I get a lot of phone calls, and uh, a lot of times I ask, you know, if you ask, you ask your, your council person, and they say, no, we, call, we called you. And I said, well, great. I said, not a problem. Uh, but if, if you have a concern, I'm telling everyone in the city of Los Panos, call all five council members. Because that way, you'll be sure to cover everything, and, uh, and believe, it, believe you me, these people will listen up here. They will call you back in one form or another, or email you if you send an email address. A lot of uh, the communications that we receive are by email, uh, so please use the email. We have uh, uh, city addresses. Uh, but again, contact us, please. And then what we do is, if we can't answer the question, they go straight to, uh, to our city manager. Or they might go to the police chief, or they might go to public works, uh, just depending. But the information is passed on. So please call us and, uh, and, uh, and call the council. So with that, this ends, nothing else, right? Are you okay? Okay. So uh, with that, I would like to adjourn this meeting, or not adjourn, yes, we're adjourned for tonight. And uh, we'll see you all in September at 8, 736. Yeah.